My name is Hannah and this is my no buy year. All right, so this is the third of three videos about my hair. If you haven't seen the first one and the second one, I recommend watching those before you watch this one because this one just picks up right where the second one left off. It's like it's like a to be continued TV show <laughs> about me and my hair and my life kind of. I'm I feel like I should put a disclaimer. I should have put this in the second video if you don't like watching me live my life you should not be watching these hair videos I, I mean it's really it's a lot it's a lot of Hannah these check-ins are a lot of Hannah living her life anyway assuming that you have seen those two videos and you know why you're here and you're here willingly there's really nothing that I need to explain in this introduction this is just the second half of the footage of me training my hair to do my bidding over the course of two weeks <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video Hey, so it's Sunday morning and I'm wearing a full face of makeup. We're actually doing another photo shoot today. We don't usually do two photo shoots in one week. We usually just do our regular photo shoot every Friday. But like I said, right now we're preparing, we're stocking up to get through October because we have a bunch of tango festivals in October. We're going to be traveling a lot. So we're trying to prepare some online listings for that period of time when we're gonna be away. Somehow I chose to film these hair diaries during both the busiest and the most boring time like of the year, so sorry about that. So let's talk about my hair. It's still in the braids, it's much messier and looser, and I'm really pleased with this really messy, loose, braided updo for today's photo shoot. Today's kind of a unique photo shoot. We're filming 10 really, really special, one-of-a-kind skirts that I made to go up on the website during one of the weeks that we're going to be away in October. So I kind of wanted to go all out with my makeup and nice classy but romantic hair, and then I think I'm gonna add some earrings and just kind of complete the look of extra glamour. I think it'll work well for the product shots of these 10 special pieces that we're photographing today. So I'm gonna go off to the photo shoot and what else do I, I'm teaching tango tonight so I'll be checking in with you later tonight probably with different makeup because I'm not gonna go out teaching tango in this face. I'll have to come home, wash it off, clean myself up, and then head out. See you later. Look at this little cat. She's full of beans. Sadie, tell them about your hair. How do you do your hair? Sadie smells so good. She smells like a baby. So I'm back from my tango class. It was a good class. I taught powerful leading for gentle people. And I am about to take a shower and I think I'm ready to take my braids out. It's just starting to feel a little bit stagnant and I'm ready for the next phase. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it down right now and then throw it up in a bun while I take my shower tonight and then I'll sleep with it down. And that's because, I'll, I'll take it down while I'm talking, that's because I know that it'll be really really seriously crimped. You'll see when I take it down that it'll be ridiculously crimped and that's not a look that I exactly want to immediately go out and rock. I want to let that crimped hair kind of relax a little bit into a more natural texture and so sleeping with it down will give it a chance to do that overnight and then hopefully tomorrow morning it'll be something that I'm happy with. I think that's all the bobby pins. I'll turn around. So I untwisted the braids from each other and now I look like my childhood idol, Anne of Green Gables. So that's quite a bit of exciting texture, and I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm not gonna put any product. Actually, you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna put a tiny bit of 
oil just into the tips. They're feeling quite, quite dry. So I'm going to put some of this Nux Huile Prodigies. Prodigies? That was actually more than I intended. I'm going to make sure to keep it just at the tips. So it's pretty flat from the scalp. The scalp part is pretty flat, but starting about here, it's got texture and body because the hair was braided into the braids all the way up to here. That's one of the great things about French braids is that it braids the hair pretty much from the root. So I really, really like that. That texture is also making a beautiful bun. So if I, for example, were going to an event for which I wanted to do a volumized and textured updo with pins, wearing it in French braids for several days leading up to the event would be a good strategy because then when it was time for the event, I could take it down and then take advantage of this lovely crimpy texture to hold the pins and to hold its body when I pinned it up. It just has more grit than it ordinarily would have if it hadn't just spent three or four days in French braids. Hey guys, so I actually ended up sleeping last night with my hair up in that bun. It wasn't too uncomfortable and as I was falling asleep I just thought I'm gonna leave it up and try to get as much lift and volume from the roots as possible as like a kind of retraining after having been in those braids. But I'm gonna wear it down today, so I'll take it down and show you how it's looking. So lots of volume from the bun and from the braids. It's still kind of flat right here because it was strongly parted in the middle for all of those days that it was in the braids. So I'm actually going to do a side part today and I'll probably wear a little bit of a side part pretty much for all of the rest of the days until I wash my hair. So from that place where it's side parted, that piece of hair that used to be on this side that I've now put over onto this side has a lot of volume. That swath of hair that's between my middle part and my side part has been trained over the past several days to lie on this side. And so now by flipping it over onto this side, I'm getting a lot of volume from the roots in that hair because the, the bottom inch or two close to the roots is trying to go back the other way and so that's giving it a lot of lift and the lift is kind of continuing down all the way through the side of my hair partly because of that and also because of the texture that's still in it because of the braids. If I really really feel for it I can feel a bit of natural oil starting to come through from my scalp but it's not drenching my roots and making them flat it's just starting to come through and that is good because those natural oils are what help to keep the hair healthy and moisturized instead of being kind of like dry and crispy like straw. So I'm not hating on those oils. I'm not sorry to feel them there. I'm just glad that my hair has enough going on with it in terms of texture because of the way that I've been training it that that oil isn't causing it to totally lie flat from the roots. And also it's not that much. I would say that my actual scalp is oily but the hair close to my scalp isn't. So my scalp isn't over producing oil so much that it's soaking my hair and causing it to change its behavior. It's just that my scalp is starting to have a little bit of a film on it. You know how sometimes you can smell your hair when it gets dirty? You can kind of smell that oily sweaty smell that's coming from your scalp. I definitely can't smell that. It'll probably start to be noticeable in a couple of days and maybe by, maybe by tomorrow and that's when I'll go at it with some dry shampoo to kind of soak that up. But for now, even though I can feel that oil coming through, I'm not letting it scare me into using dry shampoo, I'm just gonna leave it because it's not changing the texture of my hair and it's also not smelly, it's not bothering me, so I'm just gonna leave my hair like this today. I'm not putting any more product in it for the time being. Hey guys, it's nighttime. Joe is here eating a cookie. I'm leaving. <laughs> not much has changed and I'm not going to do anything with my hair tonight. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to go as long as possible 
before putting in dry shampoo. It's a tiny bit more oily at the roots than it was this morning, but it's not to the point yet where I feel like I need to take any kind of drastic measures. And I, I try to go as long as possible without putting the dry shampoo in because I kind of feel like once I put the dry shampoo in, then the clock is ticking down towards when I'll have to wash my hair. And like I said this morning, I feel like my really good hair days are just beginning and I would like to prolong the life of this hair as long as possible before I have to wash it. So um, that's all I have to say tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Today is basically a repeat of yesterday. I put my hair up in a bun last night to shower and then I forgot to take it out before I fell asleep. So I slept with it in a bun again, which I think did help it to retain some of the volume, but mostly I'm still just reaping the benefits of those couple of days with the French braids and the fact that my hair is kind of coming into its own now. It's relaxing and living its best life since it's been over a week since I washed it. So um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm just gonna wear it down. I am losing a tiny bit of volume up here compared to yesterday. So I think I'm actually gonna spray just a little bit of texturizing spray up there. And it's not even so much that it's flat, it's that my hair is again starting to do that thing where it becomes more of a solid block. So there's just not as much pieciness through the top part of my hair. It's still pretty piecey at the bottom, but there's not as much pieciness through the top part of my hair as there was yesterday. And the texturizing spray is something that can help with that. So I'm not gonna put too much in. So I'm kind of lifting up the top layer to hit the roots and then letting part of it fall and continuing to kind of hit the roots. And I'm rubbing it in with my hands. All right, that's more like it. I'm gonna stick with that today. I'm definitely gonna take a hairband with me today though because I can feel that my hair is starting to just get on my face a little bit. Just, I think it's just the mood I'm in today. I don't think it has anything to do with the way that my hair is today, but I know I've got a really long, hard day of work ahead of me, so there's a chance that I might throw it up on top of my head in a bun later in the day just to kind of get it out of the way. But for now, I'm, I'm good with this and I'm gonna get going. Hey y'all, it's nighttime and I've had it. I'm ready to go to sleep. It's also really noisy right now. There's something going on outside and Joe is doing the dishes, but I'm, I'm ready to <laughs> call it a day. So I'm filming my check-in. So this morning after I chatted with you and I put the dry shampoo, or not dry shampoo, but I put the um, texturizing spray into my hair, I almost immediately after that actually went and put it into a bun. Like I said that I thought I might halfway through the day. It was almost like by talking about it, I started to think it was a really good idea. And I also had that feeling that the texturizing spray was slightly damp and I wanted to put it up in a bun while it still had the potential to create like a memory for fullness in my hair. So I popped it up into a bun and I'll actually insert a picture that I took of myself right after that. I've, I've been trying to take a outfit of the day pictures for Instagram. And so I'll insert the Instagram picture and you can see the style of the bun, but it's the same bun that I have been showing you a number of times already in this video. So that was pretty much how I wore my hair today and then when I got home I took it down pretty much right away because it was starting to just hurt a little bit. So I still feel like I'm riding the wave of my good hair days and I'm gonna try to remember to sleep with my hair loose tonight and then we'll see what the situation is in the morning. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. I've been awake for about 45 minutes and I was just having my matcha and answering YouTube comments. I think that today is the first day that my hair is actually a little bit flatter on top and it is because there's some oil starting to come down the strands of my hair from my scalp. So it's time to pull out the big guns. This is when I resort to a little bit of dry shampoo just to prolong the wear of my hair and to kind of soak up some of that oil from the roots to give me a couple more days. So the dry shampoo that I have right now is this Whey dry shampoo foam. 
Now again, I have quite thick hair, so I tend to use a lot of product when I use product. Don't be alarmed. And I'm just going to work it in just into my scalp, into the hair that's close to the scalp. All right, and once again, you already know, as Rich Luck says, you already know. I, I want to train it to be up. So this dry shampoo isn't really dry <laughs> right now. It's like wet to dry shampoo, like foam to dry shampoo. So while it's still just a little bit damp on my scalp, up it goes into a loose bun. Loose, messy. And I'm just going to let the dry shampoo work its magic on the roots of my hair in that upward position. And I will probably take it down right before I leave the house, so I'll be back to film that process in a short while. I'm back. It might be too hot to wear this dress. It has a touch of wool in it. I'm hedging my bets. I really want to wear it today. Anyway, let's see how my hair is doing. So I would say volume wise, it's doing a lot better than it was when I woke up this morning. To be honest, it still feels a little bit damp at the roots because of the dry shampoo foam. It, it just, it doesn't feel like it has totally soaked in or soaked up or evaporated or dried or whatever it is that it does. It doesn't feel like it's done doing that. Hey guys, I'm about to leave the house. I just wanted to update you. At the last minute, I decided to pin the top part of my hair up at the back of my head. I just was feeling like the front of it was still kind of weighed down by the dry shampoo and I know from experience that as the dry shampoo completely dries it will light it will be light again it will be lightened and textured and volumized but I just wasn't enjoying the feeling of having that kind of heavy hair fall forward and fall into my face so I did like the fastest and messiest job possible and I'm really just about to be out the door but I just kind of pulled this stuff back I pinned it haphazardly. I know some strands are sticking out, but I checked it out with my hand mirror and I think it, it looks fine. So this is what I'm going to have on my head today. See you later. Hey y'all, it's nighttime. A dog is barking. Joe is doing the dishes. Things are happening. I just had makeup playtime, so I have two different types of glitter on my two different eyes and <laughs> blush all over my face and I'm wearing this bright coral lipstick, but you'll live. I loved my hair today. I really liked this messy half updo. I felt like the dry shampoo that I put in before I put it up helped it to have a little bit of volume kind of inside the updo. The dry shampoo is definitely dry by now, obviously, and I can no longer really feel any of the oil or smell any of that starting to get dirty hair smell, so I definitely feel like my wear has been extended for at least a day or two yet. And I'm going to go ahead and take it down and we can check out how it's doing. So good! I can definitely feel a little bit of almost crunchiness. Not really, but just a little bit. I can feel the presence of the dry shampoo in there, but I like the texture. This bit of my hair got particularly crunched in the updo, but I don't mind that at all, and it'll definitely have relaxed a little bit by morning. My hair is starting to feel very thick on the inside. It's like it's thick with product, because now this is maybe the fourth time I've layered some kind of product in there so I can feel the strands are a little bit they're carrying my hair is like carrying stuff in it but honestly that's part of why I feel like it has the body and shape that it has right now and because my scalp isn't overproducing oil and I've managed the little bit of oil that it did start producing I definitely don't feel like it's gross that it has all that stuff in there. It doesn't have an unpleasant smell and um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I would totally go out right now with it just like this. And hopefully it'll still have most of these qualities tomorrow. Hey, morning. So I slept with my hair in this bun. I woke up like this. I mean, my face didn't wake up like this, but my hair woke up like this. And I'm not dressed yet for the day. I just slept in this t-shirt, but I'm about to go get dressed. So I'm gonna take my hair down and I just wanted to show you. Dreamsville, I love this. This is exactly how I like my hair. I'm not sure how the lighting is with the, the morning light coming in, but um, you know, it's got tons of texture on here on the side. It's very PC. And this is day 12, I believe. If I'll put it somewhere on the screen in case I'm not counting right, but I'm definitely starting to get to the point where my hair feels a little bit dirty. Like it's it's partly because of just general sweat and scalp oils and it's partly because of the product. So at this point it's kind of a negotiation between whether I want it down and in all of its glory visually or whether I want it kind of up out of my face and up out of the way because I don't particularly love the feeling of slightly dirty or slightly kind of sweaty hair down around my face. So a lot of times what I do during these last couple of days is that I wear it up when I'm working or when I'm at home cooking, but I'll take it down like to film a video or I'll take it down if I'm going out because it's not so dirty that other people can smell it. Like it, it's not a situation where I would be ashamed to be around people with my hair like this. So if I were going to an important meeting or if I were gonna teach a tango class or if I were going to a party, I would happily wear it down in this state. It's gritty, it's textured, it's a little bit dirty and I like that. Like I like having kind of dirty natural hair. So I'm going to, I'm not sure what I'll do today. I just wanted to show you that when I'm filming and my hair is like this, like it's got tons of body and it's really piecing, it's really textured and it just seems like, how did you get it like that? And a lot of times I get comments when my hair is like this, like I need a hair tutorial, how did you get your hair like that? A lot of times that's during the last five days of the life of my hair and a lot of times it's when it's in this state. It's actually kind of at its dirtiest and I find honestly that the dirtier it gets the better it looks. I'm actually so into this right now that I'm tempted to wear it down today but it will probably depend on what I choose to wear because I was thinking about wearing kind of this big drapey blouse today and if I do that I might put it up just so it's not so, so much. If I do take an outfit of the day Instagram post, I'll insert that. If not, I'll check in with you tonight and let you know. Hey guys, I'm here with this little, little purry bean, little purry thing. Um, so I ended up wearing my hair in a ponytail today. I'll insert a picture. I did end up taking a picture. The way that it was this morning actually really suited a messy, ponytail because it had a lot of volume at the roots and then the ponytail itself was also really textured and volumized so it was super easy to kind of throw it up in like a loose messy romantic ponytail and I leapt up for the whole day. When I came home to cook dinner it was starting to hurt a little bit. You know that feeling when it's in one hairband for too long so I took it down kind of shook it out and then I put it up in this messy bun and that is where it has been until now. Okay, so so it's starting to get really stiff, and I really like that. I like that. It's starting to just have that almost straw-like quality. And by straw-like, I don't mean stick straight, like people usually mean when they describe hair as straw-like. I just mean it's like... It's a little bit raspy and textured and just, it doesn't feel dry, but it just feels like it's got a grit. It's just got a lot of grit. And I should say that it is dirty. Like it's it's dirty. I think I've made that clear. There, there's stuff in it. It doesn't feel like clean hair, but it's not smelly. It smells like very, very faintly of the dry shampoo. It's, so it's not smelly, it's not oily, it's not flat, and so 
it's dirty, but it doesn't need to be washed, in my opinion. And I actually think that that's a pretty important distinction and one of my main takeaways from this video. Morning, guys. So, <clears throat> it's actually pretty early. Um, I don't usually leave the house this early, but I'm about to run out the door. I had kind of a crazy day today because it's Friday, so it's our photo shoot day again, but I haven't finished all of the garments that we need to photograph today. So I have some hemming work to do on most of them, probably three hours of work left. So I'm getting out the door super early. I'm going to go down to our studio. I'm going to finish all of the garments and then I'm going to come home and put on my photo shoot makeup. And then we're going to go back to the studio and I'm going to do the photo shoot and photograph all of the garments. So I literally have just a little mascara on and a little bit of spot concealing and I'm wearing my it's finally cold enough to wear this amazing sweatshirt at least this morning it is the the fog is still over the city so I feel like when I'm wearing my don't call me baby sweatshirt and I'm drinking from my I do what I want mug I'm really living my best anyway <clears throat> I just put my hair up in this clip just now to do my skincare and sunscreen um, it, it's starting to feel, well, it still has kind of that nice straw-like quality from last night. It's starting to feel a little grimy. <clears throat> I think that I'm well aware that there are a lot of people who would be unhappy to have their hair be this dirty. It's kind of, this morning is kind of the first time over the past 12 or 13 days that I've woken up and been like, yeah. We're, we're getting there, like we're getting close to the next wash. And I think for a lot of people, this would be quite the limit. But I still really love how it looks and I'm not offended by the smell or the texture or anything about the level of grime that my hair currently <laughs> carries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back up in this clip so that I can get my work done this morning. And I'll actually check back in with you after I do my photo shoot makeup this afternoon so that you can see how I handle this stage of hair for the Poema photo shoot. Hey guys, so I just finished putting on my makeup for the photo shoot. What a week this has been. Um, and I'm gonna just take my hair down and see how it was doing. I just threw it up in this bun to shower before doing this makeup, but until I got home and started doing my makeup, it was up in that half ponytail with the clips that you saw it in earlier. And yeah, I'd say that this is pretty good for the shoot. I tend to like it to be sort of as PC and textured as possible for the days that I wear my hair down during the photo shoot. But you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm going to put some more texturizing spray into my hair right now and then put it back <clears throat> up into the bun. And then right before we start the photo shoot, I'll take it down. So it'll look somewhat like this for the shoot. It'll just have some more body and texture because of the spray. But I know that by doing that, I'm kind of hastening the end. I'm, I'm bringing myself that much closer to the time when I'm going to have to wash my hair because I'm getting to the point where the more products I layer in, the more laden my hair gets and the dirtier it gets. But because it's the photo shoot, it's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. I might be shaving like a day off of the end of my current hair journey by putting even more texturizing spray in at this point. I think that's good and I'm gonna take it down just in 25 or 30 minutes so I don't think I even need to pin it. So I'm out the door, I'm gonna go finish my work day and I will see you tonight. Hey guys, I just filmed a couple videos and I was kind of moving my hair around when I was doing it. So I had it down for one and I had it half up for one and then I ended up with it in this bun for the last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it down. Um, I had it down for the photo shoot and it was fine. It's it's gross. It's getting it's getting gross. It's like kind of at the point where I feel like today before I sprayed that stuff in it, before I sprayed that next layer of dirty spray, I could have kind of gone like another day wearing it down, wearing it to an event. At this point, I don't think I would wear it down to an event, especially if I were going dancing or something. Like I wouldn't want to go out dancing with it like this because it's 
it's like dirty enough that if I embraced someone to dance with them, it would be like in their face and I wouldn't want that. It's too dirty for that. I would still go out. I would just wear it in a ponytail or something. And I wouldn't feel bad about that. It's not like it's smelling up the room or something like that. It's just a little bit grimy. Like it's palpably grimy to the point where I think you can kind of even see it and kind of tell that it's just not looking its best. However, I am not ready yet to wash it. And so what I'm going to do is another trick that I often use to extend the life of my hair, which is that I'm going to brush it. Let me grab my brush. I don't think it's oily enough at the roots yet that brushing it will flatten it against my head like it did when I brushed it at the beginning of this video. That was when I really had quite a lot of oil in my hair and so after I brushed it you could see like it really flattened it. I'm not sure it's going to do that this time. Let me brush it out and then I'll check back with you. Okay, just as I suspected. So you see how it still has all of this kind of volume and body straight from the roots on both sides. So it's dirty, but it's not dirty with oil and grime. It's dirty with product. It's dirty because I've layered so much product into it. And I'm actually okay with that. And it does smell faintly of dry shampoo and texturizing spray. It doesn't really have that dirty hair smell maybe a tiny bit it was starting to get that smell right before i put the dry shampoo in and the dry shampoo kind of kept it away so i don't like this frizziness down here but what i know from experience is that it will mellow out so i've just brushed it and the other thing that the brushing does is it kind of it like loosens up the strands and the product that's atrophying around the strands i'm sure as i can be too that brushing it out like that has brushed out some of the product and brush out any kind of like extra hair or anything. So it, it feels less dirty now. Like it feels like some strands that were inside of some of the pieces in my PC hair that were cleaner have sort of come to the surface. It sort of like brought it back al alive again and I really feel like I can live with this just in terms of cleanliness. I'm not very happy with this in terms of frizziness, um, but I'm going to sleep on it and then see how it looks in the morning. Hey, it's Saturday morning. And this is how my hair is looking today. It's, you know, you can tell that I brushed it. It's sort of become more a solid piece of hair. It's a lot less PC and textured, but it does have all of this wonderful body and I feel like it's it's big, like it's taking up a lot of space, and I actually like that. I kind of like this phase of hair. The way that it behaves for a day or two after I brush it out, after I've had a bunch of product and texture and stuff in it. So I'm, I'm happy with this. I might actually wear it down today. It feels and smells so much less dirty than it did yesterday. Yesterday I was kind of like, ugh, really? At the end of the day yesterday it was really something I would prefer other people not to touch and at this point it's just it, it feels so much cleaner the brushing really did a lot for it it really prolonged the life of this cycle of my hair you know actually I'm doing a bunch of housework today cleaning editing grocery shopping cooking but then tonight we are going to a party or we're kind of part having and part going to a party it's a party in our neighborhood where we're gonna go from house to house so for that, I'll probably take it down because I think it's actually in good shape and I like the way that it looks. So it'll be like a half bun, half down hair day, I suspect. And I will check in with you tonight after the party. Hey guys, I'm back from the party. I'm totally exhausted. It's like one in the morning. But um, I wore my hair down tonight and it was perfectly fine having brushed it out last night. It no longer feels dirty or grimy. It's definitely kind of stiff and how can I explain it? It's like the pieces feel a little bit stiff. Like when I move my hair, if I, if I go to pull it back, I can kind of feel that it's reluctant to change position. So it's, it's definitely still got a lot of grit and dirt, but it doesn't smell dirty, it doesn't look dirty, and it doesn't feel dirty. So I still feel perfectly fine 
wearing it down and I felt perfectly at ease wearing it just like this to the party I went to tonight. So I just came in from the party and changed off my clothes. So this is exactly what my hair looked like for all of this evening. And I'm gonna go to bed now, but I will check back in with you tomorrow morning and we'll see where we're at. Hi, good morning. I'm just now remembering that I was so tired last night. I'm not even sure I remember what I said when I filmed my check-in, but I hope it was something. I hope it was sufficient. Um, it's Sunday morning. I have to work today, so I'm just sort of putting on a quick face. I also, I, I'm wearing a lot of blush right now because this is the first time that I've reached for the blush that I put into my Shop My Stash project recently, which is this Lorac Pro Powder Cheek Stain and Plum Passion. And it's way more pigmented than I remembered. So I went in kind of heavy and then I had to balance it out and it got out of control. You know how it goes. Anyway, let's see how the hair is doing. I slept with this bun in. I put it in a bun after I checked in last night and then I showered and then I just left it in the bun. Ooh, look at that. Look at that kind of curly texture. So yeah, it's doing great. It, again, it still feels so much cleaner than it felt right before I brushed it out a couple of days ago and I've been reflecting on it and I think that what that brushing kind of does is remember when I put all that dry shampoo in close to my scalp to just soak up whatever oils were starting to come through I, d I then just left it there and so it was like close to my scalp for a couple of days and then when I went and brushed it I think it kind of pulled that dry shampoo down through the rest of my hair, which is really what that product is designed for. I think you're supposed to use that dry shampoo foam with a brush. Like you're supposed to put it in and then brush it out. But I, I did that, but I just waited a couple of days in between when I put it in and when I brushed it out. So I do feel like when I brushed it out, it was almost as if I reapplied the dry shampoo. It was kind of like an infusion of dry shampoo into my hair. So I'm happy with this. I can live with this. I will probably wash my hair kind of any day now. It could be tonight. I'll see how it feels tonight. It seems like it's in pretty good shape. I, I feel like I could even wear it down today or even tonight. I'm going to try to go out dancing tango tonight. I'm going to get out the door and get to work and I'll check back in with you tonight. Hey, so it's Sunday night. I decided not to go out dancing. I had a big meal to cook and I also just wanted to get some filming and editing done, so I stayed in tonight. I think I'm gonna call it with my hair. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wash it tonight. It did kind of become limper over the course of today. I wore it down today. This is exactly what it has looked like all day, and as you can see, it looks good. It doesn't look bad, so I don't feel like compelled to wash it because it is starting to disobey me or it's starting to disappoint me in terms of my styling and in fact it's always like this at the end of the life cycle of my hair I always feel like it looks its best and so I wish I didn't have to wash it the thing that drives me to finally washing it is just that it it's just dirty like I'm just tired of it I'm thinking about waking up tomorrow morning getting out of bed and just having this kind of grimy hair as good as it might look. I am starting to be able to smell it a little bit and over the course of today it kind of just atrophied on my head and it's really the feeling of it that I'm starting to not enjoy. Ugh, I wish it wasn't time to wash it because like looking in the mirror now I feel like it looks the best that it's looked in two weeks but it's it's time. It, it's definitely time. Um, I'm ready to start over. And that is it. That is hopefully, truly everything anyone has ever wanted to know about how I get my hair to do what it does. If I've missed anything, it goes without saying, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you remember to take extra good care of yourself this week so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.